so frustrating. Trying to get in this letter and I just can't get in. I, I don't know what to do and I've been trying to think of another way. I have this letter opener. Uh, it says for fused glass. So this is for people who do work in glass, but rocks will glue on there just fine. So you put the cabs up here. Uh, a friend gave me this years ago, and I've never done anything with it because I tried to make cabs, and with my old machine, they just weren't turning out very shiny, and I wasn't happy with them. Uh, but I think it can do better now. So what I'm going to do is put this on one side, and pudding stone on the other side. So we'll have Petoskey and pudding, two of my favorite stones. Uh, the, what I think I'm going to do is cut, kind of figure out about where I want this, and then I'm going to cut the rock off right along there so I have a flat spot, and then I can push that down there and just use this to trace around it, use the, the letter opener itself as a stencil. I got these shaped up pretty much the way I want them, so I've been testing them just by placing that on there and seeing if it fits right. If not, I grind down a little bit more. Uh, this is called a dop stick. Some people have asked about what that is, uh, how I put it on there. So this is just a, a piece of dowel that I bought at the hardware store and cut to length. And then this little pot, called a dop pot, melts the wax and then you just dip the stick in there and stick it on the back. Uh, when I'm all done, I'll throw this in the freezer for about five minutes, and this will pop off pretty easily, most of the time. So I've also put girdle lines on the sides there, so you just draw this line here, and then when I'm doming this, I know enough to stop when I get to that line. So there'll be a little flat spot to the right of that line, and it'll be domed to the left of the line. There they are, all shiny. I'm really happy with the way both those turned out. I think those look great. So I just have to take them off their sticks now and glue them onto the letter opener. 
Before I glue these on, I like to rough things up a little bit first. The glue has a little something more to stick to. So this is my Dremel drill press, and I just got a little uh, diamond burr on there. It's just wet, the burr a little wet. I'll do a little more than that, but I'll rough that up, and then I'll do the same with the backs of the cabs. That just lets the glue grip a little better. Well, the directions on this say to use E6000 to glue this on, and I happen to have some E6000 around. Uh, usually I use epoxy for anything with rocks just because it holds a little better, but I haven't used this in a while and I thought maybe I'll give it a try. So I'm going to glue one of these on at a time. I think I'll get one glued and let it set up a little bit before I put the other one on. So I'll do that now and show you the results when I'm done. Well, there it is. I am super happy with how that turned out. You got the Petoskey stone on one side, pudding stone on the other side. Now I just have to wait for the mail to get here so I can try it out. You're out. The mail's here. Oh boy! Perfect timing! Good luck! I, I think I can get in this time, maybe. Ah. It's a miracle. I'll try another one. Ooh, it's so, so good. It ripped right out, out right away. Oh, that is so nice. Much better than the spoon. The other methods. I would hope so. Wow, it's so much easier. <laughs> I just be a dork. <laughs> I've been trying to think of a better way. <laughs> oh boy, I to use my new lever over Good luck. <laughs> I just laugh and I can't stop. I don't know.